What is up, Casey here, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to make some money in your apps with AdMob. So to get started, let's go to Safari, okay, and open up console.firebase.google.com. And after we got that, let's click uh, Create New Project, and in this Ads, okay. I just added some numbers at the end. Once you got that, let's click on the project to open it. Once you're in there, click Add Firebase to your iOS app. And now we need to have a project, so let's go to Xcode. Let's open up Xcode and create new project. We're going to create a single view application. Name this Ads123. We're good there. Click Next. And create a Git respiratory if you want, you don't have to. Once that loads, let's copy the bundle identifier, paste that there, and then click add app. Now it's going to download a file for us, just click continue, and then we're going to need to copy this right here, pod firebase slash core, so command copy. Uh, go over here and go to terminal, and cd to the desktop and then CD into your folder and say uh, pod init, okay? If you don't have pods, you're gonna need to go to uh, cocopods.org and follow the steps uh, to installing. Okay, it's right there, super simple. I'll leave a link in the description as well. Once you have that, and you have pod init in there, okay? Let's go to our file and you'll see a pod file, okay? So open that, and underneath where it says hashtag pods, okay? Click enter and paste. We're pasting what we've got from uh, right here. We just copy that, okay? And then we also need, I'm just gonna paste this again, and change core to add model. That's what the simplest way. Okay, and then say command s, you have to save it. Go back to the terminal page and say pod install. So once the computer installs all of that, let's go back to our project. Okay, we can exit out of the pod file when we need that anymore. So once you have that done, exit out of Xcode, okay? Go back to the file, and from now on you need to use the white application, okay? Otherwise I'll mess stuff up. And when you're inside of here, drag the Google service info.plist into your project, okay? You put it anywhere. Make sure add targets is selected there, okay? When you're done with that, click on appdelegate.swift. And at the top, say import Firebase, okay? And then underneath override point right here, say fir dot config configure okay and then we're gonna say gad mobile ads dot configure okay so instead of actually getting this let's go back to firebase.google.com and we've done this step so just click finish so you're all done there um now at the bottom we click add mob okay and link your apps in AdMob. So when you get to AdMob.com, click Monetize New App. Manually add it for right now. Okay, name it whatever you want. I'm just going to uh, delete this afterwards. But this number right here that gets generated, you need to copy that. Okay. And then just uh, paste the value in right there. Okay. This is the test data one so it doesn't work don't like you can use it but it won't work for you okay and just save that go to main dot storyboard and at the bottom of the storyboard we're gonna add a UI view or just a view I guess and this is what's going to hold the ad at the bottom so when people go onto our app this will be the part that uh, shows everyone the ad that they can click put it in here I don't know what height, I didn't really know. And put that in there, 
but we're gonna down at the bottom here it's like a little square tap there and we're gonna add a constraint on both sides and the bottom okay and just click add three constraints so basically this will be the top can move up and down based on the width of the device so if it's a wider device then it can go higher so that the ad isn't distorted or anything like that okay go back to uh, our view controller and we can delete this did receive memory warning no need for that okay and at the top of here let's import um what is it google mobile ads okay once you got that in create an ib outlet at ib outlet weak bar and this is going to be one of mine uh Add view, I guess. I guess that's a good name. And this is gonna be of type G A D mobile ads, okay? And an exclamation point. And then down here, delete that. We're gonna add 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 view dot add unit ID equals. And we're gonna have to get that here in just a second. And then say add view dot root view controller and that's going to equal self and then add view dot load g a request and that's a function up here this is going to be g a d banner view okay and that should fix everything, okay? And this add unit ID will be unique to your ad. So let's go back to add mob and click banner, uh, add type. Okay, yes, yes. Refresh 60 seconds. This is what it's gonna look like right here. And then add type, let's say banner. Okay. You, you can link it to Firebase, that's a good idea for you. And down here it's gonna generate two codes copy the bottom one and that is going to be what you put in here. Paste that value in right here and then just save that. Okay, now go back to main.storyboard and when you're there, click on the view and go over to its class and we have to change its class to GAD banner view. Okay, once you have that done, click on the view controller, right click on it and you'll see add view, click the little plus and drag it down to the banner view and let go. It should be working now, so let's test that out. And there we go. Thank you all so very much for watching. Please, if you like the video, leave a like below. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment below. I'll answer all of them. And please subscribe, you know, it lets me know that you guys like the content. Peace.